Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Clever Octopus. I'm hanging out just behind the engine here and the propeller shaft is here. This is the diesel tank. And what I'm trying to do today is to get a shelf put in here to stick the lithium batteries on. So the batteries are about a foot wide and a foot and a half tall and I don't know, four inches wide each, and there are eight of them. So they fit very nicely right in this space here. And uh, it's far enough away from the engine that they won't get too hot from that. Uh, if I'm worried about that, I can put some uh, radiant barrier here, some kind of insulation maybe. And then this is kind of wasted space back in here right now. You know, I mean, you can't store anything in here that you're gonna move in and out a lot or that has straps or things that might hang down and get caught on the propeller shaft and yeah it's a hard space to get to so I mean it's not too hard you can go through the hatch in the back and, and get down in here or you know if, if there's a wall here eventually through the bathroom or the kitchen you could have a little panel to get in there so yeah, I think it's a great space for the batteries and it's just the right size so I just need to get a shelf in and to do that Oh, what am I snagged on? I have this nice piece of grate shelf. It's just a wire grate and it sits in there just nicely. So the batteries are gonna weigh about 200 pounds and I'll just weld in some bolts onto the diesel tank here to bolt this to the diesel tank and then put in some supports underneath to hold the front edge. And I think that's gonna do perfectly fine. So let's get to it. top of the diesel tank isn't the same level as the compression post on the mast, so this line down here that I made that should be level with the compression post is definitely off if you look at it across the top of the diesel tank. Probably I should level here to the diesel tank. That way at least it'll look good even if it isn't actually level.
need to just pick where I'm going to mount my bolts. sturdy frame. bigger washers. The washers that I got don't fill up the space in between the two bars back here well enough, but uh, that's no problem. So the next thing is to fit uh, support on this front edge.
Yeah. All right, we've got a couple of layers of goodies to go in here. The first is this little uh, leg chunk that goes over top of the propeller shaft. And the second is just a flat piece that'll sit on top of here and underneath the rack. And then we put the rack on top of all of that. Hopefully. There we go, there we go. And that goes on top. Yeah, and then I've got another little stabilizer piece to go in our legs here. We need to decide where to put that. So, that's going to be that side stabilized, and then I just need to uh, fix another stabilizer into this other end over here, which won't be super difficult. Just need to take some measurements for that. But first I'm going to get this extra stabilizer in my legs. Well, there you have it. There's two battery cells in place, and uh, there's just enough clearance at the top. I'll get straps to wrap through the grating here to strap them down this way and then they'll get bundled together this way with uh, another strap and I've got this wood strip here on the front not only to hold the support in place for uh, the rack but also to keep these guys from knocking forward out of the way. I think also I'm gonna fit a couple of strips of wood in between this and the front of the grate just so that if anything really bad happens and we get a big knock, um, this won't slide on its own. And then on the bottom, since this is kind of a, a temporary thing, temporary-ish, uh, I don't want to add any welded brackets or anything like that to the boat, so I'm just going to use sealant, some 3M 4200, and I'll put it on the bottom of the feet after everything is painted. Of course this is going to get all the wood here is going to get soaked up in epoxy and sealed up nice and then the 3m 4200 sealant will be a strong but removable sealant uh, and adhesive to stick this down onto the boat so really it doesn't need to handle very many forces it j i just don't want it bouncing up and down so the weight of the batteries will keep it down but if the boat bounces the weight of the batteries comes off of the frame as well you know so um, but they'll be strapped to the frame so it'll want to lift the frame but with the adhesive it won't lift off of the hull of the boat so it, it'll all follow along together so that that's the plan uh, I may adjust that later if I find out through experience that it doesn't work but for now, that's the plan, and uh, yeah, this is two of the eight batteries, so it's looking good in here. Now I need to get it coated with epoxy so that it'll be watertight-ish. I mean, it's wood, so it's never totally waterproof, but this will be a good start.
Okay, the great thing about working on this uh, plastic trash bag material, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is, probably polyethylene, um, is that the epoxy doesn't really stick to it. So it's tacky right now, like when you try and pull them apart, the, the epoxy kind of strings out, but once it dries, uh, you can peel it off of there and it leaves a nice smooth finished surface. Uh, this isn't going to be the greatest surface because my plastic bag is all crinkled up, but what I care about is that the finish cured epoxy isn't going to stick to the plastic bag and I can just peel it off when I'm done so I can paint every side in one go. But if you care about the finish, your bag has to be perfectly smooth, otherwise you'll get little waves or you'll get funny speckle patterns or lines where ridges are in the bag so yeah if you're expecting a great finish from this maybe not the best way to do it this is going to cure overnight and i'll just reassemble everything in the morning and stack up the batteries in there and call this project done so hope you enjoyed this short little video and i'll see you next time